So we're just going to start off just basic kneecap pass. Um, what I want to do, like ideally, like I like to get to this point and then I start looking for my options. Um, you can blast kneecap somebody, but a lot of times it does turn into that scramble. Kayla's actually really good at like hitting that and then like solidifying the position. But let's break apart his guard just like piece by piece. So um, I do like to control like the feet when I step in and where like my legs in the middle, his legs in the middle. And from here, I'm gonna go right to here. Right. So this will open up what my options are. If the knee cut's not there, I have long steps, I have smash passes, I have all kinds of stuff that I can do. But from here, um, we're gonna pretend that he didn't hide this underhook like, like a proper purple belt. So I'm gonna start digging this. As I start to dig that, I'm gonna start looking to get my knee to the mat. Um, ideally, I'll, I'll already like be past this leg, but sometimes you will still have to deal with that. So once I get this underhook, I'm gonna start sliding like I'm trying to get my hip to the mat or into his body. So once I get here, boom. So from here I have his hip stacked. I'm looking at cross face and then get to my knee. So I have a good underhook, I'm gonna do a cross face and start driving into it. Solidifying into a good side control. Uh, the person that is the Uki, right away they're gonna get proper frames and get safe, all right? Just to really get into that mind frame, like, okay, I'm in a bad spot, where do I need to be? That's mind frame. <laughs> so, when I'm approaching, I can go feet, I can go shins. Um, sometimes you can just step in, and but you do have to deal with, like, say he goes like De La Hiva or reverse De La Hiva, any of that stuff. So I'm gonna control it. So if, if I feel like toes isn't gonna be enough, I'm at least gonna get shins. And I step in, cut across, I'm looking for this underhook. Once I see that it's there, I'm gonna jam and slide. Right. But keeping this tight to his body from here and re pummels or like pushes, but I don't want to have to deal with that, so I'm here. And get the cross face and then drive into him. So I'm pushing off my feet and driving chest to chest. Boom. He goes right into the proper frame to look into his knee. Nice okay. That was a big crash for <laughs> Perfect. It'll be $50. Um, when I'm holding side control, I want to just make sure I'm not like this. There's way too much space there. So whether you're pressing your knee up, you're dropping your hip to hip, or um, the hand against the hip works as well. Um, I tend to use my knee against the hip, and then this elbow is kind of pressing into like this floating rib. He's just trying to slow it down. You can do something like this too. That way it did. Lost it down. Kind of questions do we have? None. When you before you do the knee slides, do you go off to the other side? No. So, a straight shot. Like this, this, or from here? Uh, the first one. Yeah. Okay, so that is something you can do. Um, when you're approaching someone's yard, you can, because it'll open up like your X passes. Um, but say I step in, he climbs down, then I'm going to look for that. Oh. So that is a good option as well. Just kind of step into that leg. It's something that it's actually good to get used to doing. All right, anything else? All right, I'm three, one, two, three. 